Hello there, fellow Dazzlers and I new players alike. What is going on, everybody? Hey, Russell Joestar here, bringing you a tutorial video. Uh, I would make another comment about how long it has been on the channel since I have existed, but let's just not go there right now. You are here for a quick tutorial on everybody's favorite screaming, thrilling driving game, Thrill Drive 1. Now, as a side note, for anybody asks, this is being using um, MameUI64 uh, 0 0.147 uh, U2 October 30th 2012 build. Uh, I use this specific build as uh, it just runs 3D games like Thrill Drive a little bit easier than modern day builds. We're using a toaster of a system uh, just to get that out of the way so somebody's going to ask that. And two, uh, this uh, shifter uh, tutorial is mainly meant for the non uh, US release. I believe the US, I don't remember what the three letters were, was for it uses a sequential shifter meaning you can just shift up and down through the different gears rather than having to use a gear uh shifter lever now this tutorial is specifically if you're using a controller or keyboard if you will of some kind to play this game uh for this video i have a xbox one controller and that's going to cause some problems as you'll see but if you do have say a, a gear shifter uh, like a, a race wheel with a gear shift that could work. But anyways, and here's what you're going to do. Now, the main issue here is that, for this game at least, and for the specific main build I mentioned earlier, uh, you have just up, down, left, right for your shifter. So it's not like there is a gear 1, gear 2, gear 3, gear 4, gear 5 reverse. So here's what you're going to do. So for P1 up, down, left, right, what I have done is I've mapped those to the uh, Y, B, A, and X buttons. So what you want to do is have your your up, so to speak. You want to shift, uh, set that to B, X, and left bumper, which will be, or, or whatever bumper you want to use, but that would be B, gear one, X, gear three, left bumper gear five so one three five set to p1 up basically for down we have y a right bumper so gear two gear four reverse right so you've got your top on the b x left bumper bottom on y a right bumper for uh, left, you want to have, we set it to Y and B. So that gives us the, the 1 and the 2. And then finally for right, we have that set for right bumper or left bumper, which lets us do this. Because what you're basically doing is you're kind of jerry-rigging it so uh, the, bu the buttons get you what you, uh, what you want out of it. Because normally, say you were to go in and change it to just have a up, down, left, right, you'd have to do some weird thing where you hold two buttons at the same time to select that gear. So uh, I would I'd redo it, but I don't feel like uh, remapping the controllers. But you'd have some weird situation where, you know, uh, using the Xbox controller, Y would select gear for three. So to hit gear one, you'd have to hold X and Y at the same time. You could do that if you're using a controller, if you really, really want to. Um, but I like this method better. Uh, it does end up with a weird thing where we start at B and we kind of go counterclockwise to get, you know, uh, B being gear 1, 2, uh, B is gear 1, Y gear 2, X gear 3, A gear 4, left bumper gear 5, and then right bumper is rear. Now, there's a bit of a challenge here with this because uh, for this version of the game, you have to press a clutch pedal while shifting. Now, and I'll show you this in game, you don't have to use the clutch but you'll lose speed if you shift without using the clutch pedal so you're left with a decision if you're using an xbox controller like me you only have so many buttons right um so what i ended up doing was i mapped the brake i thought i mapped the brake to the right bumper or the right stick but i must have turned that off or something like that you could do that map the, your pedal to your uh your brake to your stick or if you want to map your clutch to the uh, right stick, you could do that and use the D-pad to make your shifting. The problem with that is to do that, you would have to let go of the steering wheel 
and do that so it'd be really hard to shift while turning likewise if you're braking you're having to let go of whatever gear you're in in order to make that break happen with the controller so it's a bit of a tricky situation i don't really use the brake pedal often in the game uh, i really only find myself using that if there's a situation where i need to uh stop like emergency stop uh, normally i just like all oh, the gas or pump the the gas to get around corners and things of that nature uh, but that's kind of how you do it again right you set your p1 up to b x left bumper p1 down y a right bumper p1 left y b p1 right right bumper left bumper and get a load of that crack so once you get that done you'll be able to move through and shift you of course can play around with this like if you want to do uh maybe you want to have b b gear one then kind of just shift things around so to speak you can kind of uh, do it like that and then of course always come to the io check you can verify that we've got the gears here correct and you can see on the right there you see uh, i was talking about how uh you're 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 basically uh, macgyvering it to use multiple levers you can see the uh down left is on up is on down is on up left is on so you kind of get that with the uh gears that you want but that being said my name is Joshua Jost I thank you guys for checking out this tutorial we are going to try to come back and do a little bit more for this channel as well so stay tuned we got some more things up our sleeves so until next time take care and of course in real life do not drive like this please if any of you guys get in a wreck and you try to argue in court that well Razzle Joe Star was playing this fun driving game and it didn't tell me not to drive like an idiot in real life I'm just just don't, please. <laughs> Danger, Danger, as the game says. Take care, everybody.